Consider your perspective on hell. It's not merely a place you'd prefer to avoid, it's an abode of eternal torment that you wouldn't wish upon your worst enemy. How do we understand this? Let's delve into a chilling encounter that began as a mere bad dream on a typical college night but evolved into a deeply unsettling experience. Some might argue it was a mere hallucination, a trick of the mind. However, the visceral reaction we had upon waking, with our hearts pounding and an overwhelming sense of fear immobilizing us, suggests otherwise. This wasn't an ordinary nightmare, it left an indelible mark on our consciousness, compelling us to share our tale. In a recent revelation, Mirjana was granted a profound vision of hell, wherein she encountered numerous renowned individuals alongside Our Lady. This extraordinary occurrence prompts us to contemplate the deeper significance and implications of such a sighting. By exploring the intricacies of this story, we may uncover profound insights into the nature of divine judgment, the universality of human frailty, and the potential for redemption even in the most unexpected circumstances. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, Kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. What was supposed to be a peaceful sleep turned into a scary nightmare. It was early Wednesday morning, and she was trying to get some rest before school. But suddenly, her dream changed and she found herself in a dark and scary place. She heard screams all around her and saw flames everywhere. It was terrifying, but she realized she wasn't suffering like the others. She felt like she was just watching what was happening, not experiencing it. While she was in this scary place, people came up to her and started telling her their stories. They explained why they were there and warned her about the dangers. Each story was different, but they were all very eye-opening and taught her important lessons. As she continued to explore this frightening place, she saw different sections of hell. Each section seemed to be for people who had committed similar sins on earth. In one area, she saw souls who had been consumed by greed and had chased after money their whole lives. They were surrounded by piles of wealth, but none of it brought them any happiness. They were tormented by their insatiable desire for more. In another section, she encountered souls who had been consumed by anger and unforgiveness. They were trapped in a cycle of bitterness and resentment, unable to let go of past hurts. Their anger only fueled the flames that surrounded them, and they suffered endlessly because of it. Moving on, she entered a section filled with souls who had lived lives of selfishness and cruelty. Here, she saw dictators and evil leaders who had caused immense suffering to others during their time on earth. They were tormented by the screams of their victims, forced to confront the consequences of their actions for eternity. But perhaps the most heartbreaking sight she witnessed was in the deepest, darkest part of hell. Here, she saw souls who had rejected God's love and mercy, condemning themselves to eternal separation from Him. They were filled with regret and despair, knowing that they had chosen their fate by turning away from the light. As she continued her journey through hell, she encountered many famous people, like actors and historical figures. She walked around for a bit and then saw a man surrounded by flames. He noticed her and approached her. When she could see him clearly, she realized it was John Lennon. He seemed angry and cursed a lot. He blamed God for what was happening to him and wondered why no one warned him before. He told her they were in the musician part of hell, and the Hollywood section was nearby. She looked and saw many famous Hollywood stars burning together. Then, another soul joined them, it was Michael Jackson. 
He looked different from when he was alive, and he seemed sad. He didn't say anything, but she could tell he was filled with regret for his past actions. Unlike John Lennon, he seemed deeply sorry. Even though she felt sorry for them, she knew there was nothing she could do. They were paying the price for choosing fame and fortune over goodness. All of a sudden, she noticed a huge hole in the ground. It was right there, in the middle of everything. She stepped back, unsure of what to do. She could hear strange sounds coming from the hole, like people moaning. And when she looked closer, she saw hands reaching out, trying to escape. These were souls, trying to climb out of the deep pit. But most of them couldn't make it. They were pulled back down by scary creatures. She decided to take a closer look. As she did, she realized that the hole went down further than she could see. People were trying to climb out from deep down there. But then, she noticed something strange. There was a flat area near the top of the hole, almost like a little platform. And right in the center, there was another hole. It seemed like the same pit continued from there. And standing on that platform was a man, looking down at the struggling souls. He turned his gaze towards her. As she walked through these terrifying scenes, she felt a deep sense of sadness and compassion for the souls trapped in hell. She realized how precious life on earth was and how important it was to live with love, kindness, and forgiveness in her heart. Remember to love God and send your love to God. This story paints a vivid picture of a journey into the depths of hell, filled with haunting encounters and chilling revelations. It's a harrowing account of witnessing the suffering and torment of souls trapped in eternal damnation. The descriptions of famous figures like John Lennon and Michael Jackson experiencing agony serve as a stark reminder of the consequences of a life lived in pursuit of worldly fame and fortune. The depiction of souls attempting to escape from the pit, only to be thwarted by demons, adds to the sense of hopelessness and despair. Overall, this story serves as a cautionary tale, urging readers to reflect on their actions and choices in life to avoid such a fate. Matthew 10 verse 28, And do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. This verse emphasizes the seriousness of hell as a place of eternal punishment for those who reject God. It encourages believers to prioritize their relationship with God and to fear Him above all else. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.